What's up guys, welcome back to another video from Red Empire Gaming. So this one is just a quick one, this is nothing too special. So this is just about my new sensitivity and you know just an update in Call of Duty. So while playing Call of Duty, my sensitivity was really low. So I finally have a set um layout here. So this is my set layout. You know, two fingers, like I tried three and it's just weird and I didn't keep it up. I just stick to two. But if you could play with more than two fingers on a phone, you know, it's better for you. It might be easier. It could just take a little while to get accustomed to. So the changes that I have made is actually put my grenade. But my grenade was always here with this prone button here. And this allow me to drop shot easier. So my thumb, my, my left thumb now do grenades, core streak and for drop shot. And I also adjust on the right side to jump. And you know to slide. I actually know which part these buttons are now. So I don't even need to have the opacity at 100. But I'm still keeping it at 100. Just because I could drop it but... You know, it don't really matter, so I just leave it like that for now. So, other than that, my sensitivity is really high, right? But, I, I it, it was a low before, but gradually, you know, I had to up the sensitivity. And this is what I reach now, and I believe I'm comfortable with this. I will not put it any higher than this. So, this... I could actually make a 360 on my phone without even at a drag my phone. I will show an example in training mode, but yet really fast, so I don't even have to move my thumb that much. And you know, you're getting a full 360 and more with the distance acceleration. Standard sensitivity is 150 for when I'm not ADSing. For hip firing, 150, I could control that perfect, you know, just go on the player, slide, 150 works really well. And then for area sensitivity, because of the zooming that you do get when your areas, right, 210 works well. This was actually at 170 and 160 for a while, and I recently sent it up to 210. So in the future, it might, what I doubt, it might go higher than this just because the sensor is really good. You're getting a full 360 to the right really fast. You can move aim to the left really fast and it works good. Same camera and fine sensitivity. So yeah, um, let's just go into practice mode here really quick. And I just want to show the rotation. So, I can't really comment it and talk at the same time. I mean, sorry, I can't really comment it and play at the same time just because my hand will mess up the microphone. So, the M13 here. And this is me just moving my finger on the screen really slight, like You can see. And I not even have full turn. Like, I can get full turns really easy. So, that's what about what. Uh, so between my shoot button, my hip fire, and ADS button, as well as my thumb does be when I aim in. So in the middle are these two buttons here, my thumb does be here. And from one, and from the top of the hip fire button to the left, if I pull it so, I almost 360. And depends on how fast I move it because of distance acceleration, it will move faster. So if I just... No, sorry, that's speed acceleration, but see, so I get the point. So, yeah, I have just enough here, and for me to control our gun hip fire, you know, it, it, the sensitivity works perfect. You can take our time, make a try this for yourself. Um, let's just show the code really quick. So, this is a loadout here. You can try it, share code. Where generate code. So this is the code here. 
they could try it out for yourself I don't know what you think so that is it more or less for today video as a quick update on my sensitivity hopefully next video you will see some gameplay so yeah thanks for watching and let me know if this sensitivity works for you everybody wanna do the same thing